What is going on, Vote Army? Been a long time. We haven't talked in a while. Um, I'm not in your Telegram or anything like that, but um, uh, right here, you can still see I'm still a supporter of Volt. I keep that up so that everybody can see, so that everybody knows that I'm Volted, even if I'm not a uh, fan of some of the people or whatever the case may be. Um, I think that Voltoshi is probably a developer with very few peers in meme coin or, or DGEN or DeFi space, whatever you want to call it. You pick whatever you want to call it. So what I thought was, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of news about you know, what I've seen happening. Uh, I'm probably going to explain some things that you may or may not like, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content, and uh, let's kick it off. All right, first up, there's a game. Uh, Bullet Rain is the game, and here's the trailer. Now, you can see the game is being played by bots right now as a test. It looks like it's kind of an alpha game, but if you're, you know, checking it out, it, it kind of looks like, um, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike 2, Something along those lines should be a group starting on one side, group starting on the other side uh, with bot options, probably so that you can play. Um, looks like probably going to be a lot of fun to play um, if you like first person shooters and you and you like these types of games. And this potentially uh, could be something with a lot of fun to it. And I would assume that there's some kind of integration with your Volta Dragon NFT. And here, of course, is the announcement of Bullet Rain. It's been approved for Steam. So you're about to see on June the 7th that Volt will have another game listed. Uh, Volt Island and now Bullet Train. Bullet Rain. <laughs> I said Bullet Train. Bullet Rain. Anyway, um, so where does that leave Volt? Well, I think that it's pretty clear at this point that Volt is the gaming, that we should call it GameFi. You have the Volt game that you can still play on the website at voltinu.in, I want to say. And you still have Volt Island, and now you have Bullet Rain. So that, to me, would indicate that it's GameFi. Well, what's going on with GameFi? Well, unless you're a new startup or unless you have some magical uh, partnership that's just you know phenomenal, then you don't get very many pumps. from it. The word, Retail's not back in the market, so Volt just kind of meanders around. Now, uh, a long time ago, and every once in a while in my live streams, I will give you technical analysis and kind of tell you where I think the chart's going. The chart's been very specific. And, you know, um, it, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the Crow Show. Uh, it used to be that you had uh, three amigos, if you will, that were the voice of the community. And for many, because the price didn't pump and because they're a very, not you, of course, but the guy sitting next to you, unsavvy investor. That guy you talk to all day in Telegram, he doesn't know shit. The guy that keeps telling you that he's a whale. There's a lot of people that will tell you who they are and what they are. And it's what you, it's what they want you to hear. I can do the same. You can do the same to me. We are who we think we are. Volt. Nobody has ever been as passionate as Pablo. Nobody's ever been as passionate as Power. And where are they now? If they truly thought that Volt was going to 1,000x from here, wouldn't they still be here doing this? Now, I'm not saying that, that I don't think that, that Volt has the opportunity to have a significant pump. Maybe it'll do 1,000x. I'm, I'm not saying that it will not have a, a massive pump. But if they were going to do that and it was easy money, then wouldn't they still be here? Why would you turn away money? Because you're only in this for the money. Some of us are here for the technology. Some of us are here for the innovation. But most of us are here for the money. So uh, what's changed fundamentally about Volt? Well, the only thing that really changed is that Voltoshi, I think, kind of put his foot down and said, you guys need to stop banning people and kicking people out of chat. You know, there's too many times that I can tell you that people have been banned from chat by one of these guys. And I reach out to Voltoshi. I'm like, hey, man, this guy got banned. Um, if you look at it and see if there's anything you do. And he put the person back into chat. You know, because, you know, look, there's a lot of negativity goes around. So what do they do? They leave. And they go to Promethean Prodigy. Now, I did a promo for Promethean Prodigy, I think, when it launched. I think it was a year ago, something like that. I did a, I did a promotion for it. I had no idea. Uh, I don't know who. I, I still don't even know who the developer is. I still don't even know what they do. 
I, I don't give a shit. Like, it doesn't matter. What matters to me is the Volt Army. Now, if you are a Volt Army holder and Promethean Prodigy holder, I, I'm not talking to you specifically. I, I, if there's a, a culture here. But but here, here my point is, um, everybody who was pro Pablo, they went over to Promethean Prodigy. But um, if Pablo was wrong about Volt and it wasn't worth a thousand X for him, then isn't he going to do the same thing over Promethean Prodigy? Like, I, I mean, really? Oh, or are we just going for the next trend? You know what I mean? Me? Look, I do my stuff because I'm a promo guy. You know, I want to do promos. And I like doing promos. I like talking I like talking about Bolt. So we're talking about Bullet Rain today. But we're also talking about, you know, kind of what's going on. I'm going to show you the chart. You can agree or disagree with me about what's happening here. And uh, I do want to point out, I, I'm not going to get too deep into the weeds here, but you know, somewhere two years ago or so, I was on a live stream with a bunch of people. I want to say Pablo was in there. I want to say Jazz was in there. You know, I want to say that there were a bunch of different uh, names of people that were in Vault for a while, and they were throwing out just ridiculous numbers, like, well, we're going to 50 billion uh, market cap. And by the way, if you think it's 50 billion market cap and you still think it's 50, fair enough, but there was a deadline for that. The only person who got even remotely close was me, because I said 5 billion. Because I went with the lowest number. Do you know why I did that? Number one, because I didn't believe it was going to hit 50 billion in a bear market. And number two, because I understood what the timing was. And I didn't even think we'd be close to 5 billion market cap, to be fair, like, like at that at that point. But, you know, I get pressured to not be fudding, if you will. So th that puts us, in, you know, we're all putting out these wild <clears throat> predictions, 10 billion, 50 billion, 25 billion. It's nonsense, right? Uh, we should be honest. We should be honest. You should be as an as an investor. Um, I should be honest. With you. I'm not paid by Volt to do anything, so you know I can be as honest as possible. I don't think that it's going to do fifty billion dollars. Um, I do think that it's going to have a significant run, and I'm going to show you what I think is going to happen here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you real quickly because I think time might be running out for people. The narrative for these kind of uh, game fi tokens. It's probably going to change pretty soon. First, I'm going to show you a couple of different things, and I'm going to add a few things to this chart. You can make what you will of it. In fact, I'm going to minimize everything to make sure that you can see this chart very, very clearly because I want you to know exactly what's going on. Okay. So first of all, you've got this lower highs coming in, and you've got this resistance that formed for, I mean, this is what, a year's worth? You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. You got this semi-pump, but it didn't go anywhere, and then you got this one, and guess what? It got, it, it smacked on the resistance line. And by the way, I think you guys, probably if you watched my life, you knew this was going to happen because I told you this was going to happen. I would like to see it break out, but the most likely scenario is that it comes back down for a retest. Where did I say it was going to come down for a retest? Exactly where we are. Uh, we're right at that 786 retracement area on a Fibonacci tool. So now for this purpose, let's zoom in just a little bit more and let's get a more fine pen on uh, what is developing now here's this is going to break out because it cannot continue through October just to, just for clarity here Th this chart will have to do something and it will do something drastic before we get to this little area right here okay uh, this downward momentum will stop you're gonna you know you'll pop through here if you pop through here I, I want to say um, and by the way there's no mag there's nobody looking at this chart and and saying oh when it gets right here I'm selling it's human nature. It's human sentiment. Okay. Uh, if I had to say where I think this is going to happen, I'll even tell you the date where I think that that, that this would would actually happen, and it's going to be kind of right here. Uh, so I'm going to say that the next big pump, July 24, July 24 is where I'm going to say the next big big pump is going to come, and it's not going to be a big pump at this point. It's going to be a smaller pump, and then here's what's going to happen. Um, this right here is the resistance sort of zone right there. And by the way, when I say 58, might be 59, might be 6,000, but it's, it's going to pump a little bit, but it's not going to pump significantly. It's going to come up into this range right here, into the six, uh, kind of, kind of, you know, like this, and then it'll kind of rip into this little range right here and then it's going to get rejected and it's going to come back down. And then what it's going to do is it's going to come back over here and then it's going to get tight. And then what will probably happen is it's going to come outside of this range and it will have broken its resistance sort of area, okay? Now, what that means is that the sellers who've been looking to sell at specific spots or to cut their losses or whatever the case may be, they, they'll be worn out. 
that's really what this means. And then when they're worn out, price go up. Okay. Um, I don't think the price goes down. I don't think that the market cap is such that, you know, it's, it's going to continue going down like that. I think that there's a lot to be happy with what Voltoshi has built here with what's been done. So, you know, I don't want to dump on the project because I, I'm still vaulted. I still believe that Volt is a viable and worthy project. I'm not. Um, uh, I, I'm not of the mind that if you say mean words to me and you don't let me ban people in Telegram, that I don't want to be associated with the project. Um, I don't want to fight with people. I don't want to argue. That's why I'm not in your Telegram right now. I don't want to fight and argue. And look, I I walk away when um, there's toxicity. I've I've been robbed. I've been, you know, I've been cheated. I've had all kinds of different stuff happen to me. I don't have time for that. So, um, you know, I, I wanted you guys to know that I think that this thing is going to rip. I think that there's going to be you know, a really big moment. And, you know, when you look around here and you see uh, Volt as a website compared to other things, and you start to look at, you know, what do you have? You got Sparkbot, you got Volt and Dragon Sailors with integration. These are, these are NFTs that are, that are fully integrated. Pepe just hit an all-time high, and to celebrate, Cryptonomy.Finance is giving away Pepe up to $1,000, a total of $100,000 prize pool. First, follow Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X, initiate a deposit at Cryptonomy.Finance, start staking or join the launch pool, and then like, uh, retweet this post. The deadline is going to be June 15. I just earned 0.1012 Bitcoin. That was $600. We locked it in. We got 0.037 Bitcoin. Uh, that is the equivalent of uh, $1,800. We made $2,400 in the last couple of months off of using the staking mechanism with Cryptonomy Binance. The big one is the launch pool. Uh, look at the returns that are coming through. We got 12x on Theta Knots. Lifeform, 4.8x. TARS Protocol, 13x. You guys are familiar with TARS X. I've talked about them before. So if you want to earn some Pepe, then make sure you sign up at Cryptonomy.Finance today. Make sure you follow uh, the X account. Uh, make sure that you like and retweet that. And then make sure you make a deposit and start staking either in the flexible, fixed, or launch pool today. Uh, you've got a dashboard so that you can check out what's going on at any given time. You've got Volticard uh, in case you want to buy with your crypto. Um, uh, you've got you've 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 been branched out into multiple different chains. Uh, you've got the Volti ecosystem. You've got Volti Flex. You've got the Volti Games. Three games now. Um, you've got Volti Change with over 250 different projects. By the way, minuscule, minor projects. It's not doing very much. It's not. It's, but it's not the point. We're still at the. We're still at the. We're still in the bear portion of that market. The fact that Volti Change is continuing to do this means that at some point there occur. Uh, you know, something flips right, and, and people start to recognize. I'm going to miss out on this. Now, um, let's finish off why it didn't pump. We didn't pump because this is not the market for it. The market is brand new meme coins, getting excited over those things, and then creating pumps. And then if they resonate as a meme, then they get a second opportunity, if you will. A lot of what's happened in the meme coins is either politically based or Solana based. Uh, there are still Ethereum memes that will pump. There are still uh, Ethereum tokens that will get nice little runs here and there, but generally they're new. You know, you don't see older tokens, even ones that have a, a full a full use case or a full, a full stock of utilities that, that Volt has. You don't see very many of those pumping right now. That, you know, of course represents a problem in the industry, but look, a lot of these things fall away. When they do fall away, when the new projects come around, some of these things uh, are just gone, lost to the ages. But the investors that are still here, they're gonna find Volt. If you're not, if you're not a person that's gonna hold it forever, that's fine. Do whatever you want. However, what I would say to you, uh, in my personal opinion, is that Volt will have an incredible run when it's time. Volt will be a top 100. Um, it'll be it'll be it'll be a top 100 project. I don't know how long it'll stay there. I don't know if it'll maintain there. I don't know exactly how that goes. These are cyclical things, but I do know that it will happen. I trust in that Voltoshi knows what he's doing. I trust that he's able to guide this project. Um, and I mean, basically he's doing it himself, right? Um, you know, there's, there's people out here. I don't even know who's in your community right now, to be fair. Like, I don't know who's out here talking about it every day. I go into uh, some of these spaces and I, I look, I don't have time to listen to, to 
uh, self aggrandizement and fluffery and, and, and stuff like that. Um, I do it myself. I, I don't mean, you know, I do it myself, but I don't have time to sit and listen to people. I, you know, if I, what I want to hear about is I want to hear about the project. I want to hear what's going on. Um, you know, and I don't think that that's happening as, as much as it could, or in fact, you know, maybe I just don't hear the, the big announcements and you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I digress. I think that your, I think the Volt project is going to be perfectly fine. I think that this is going to be something that absolutely sends at some point and everybody is going, anybody who missed out on it is going to regret it. Um, I, I get the sense that there is a moment in time when all of your hard work, everything that you've done is going to pay off. I don't know exactly when that'll be. Um, but now I'm wondering, I, I want to wrap this up. I want to, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, you guys have supported me for a long period of time. I try to be supportive of the Volt Army uh, as best I can. Um, it, you've got shitheads in your army, and I don't have time for shitheads. So, um, I, you know, there's there's going to be moments here where I don't talk to some of you guys, uh, but I uh, I support the Volt Army, and I hope that the Volt Army has that nice big big run. I'm a member. I don't have a whole lot, but I'm a member. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, that's where I am. Uh, most of my trading, by the way, Solana meme coins, um, or, you know, blue chip alts that that's what I'm doing right now. That's the safest bet in this industry at this point. So, um, and, and I'm playing it safe. I'm not playing it. I don't give a shit about, you know, 100, 200, 500. I don't care about that. I care about profit. I care about moving up, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. If you took uh, stuck around to the end, uh, hit the like button. If you like the content, subscribe, if you want to, um, every day, I'm live at 9am. I talk about, you know, whatever I talk about. And, uh, sometimes it's going to be Volt. Sometimes it's going to be uh, a bunch of other projects. Um, but you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to shit on your project. I'm not going to walk out on you. I'm not going to go to a different project and start telling you that that project is better than Volt. I've never told you that anything is better than Volt. Um, so here we are. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. We'll talk to you again very soon.